Hey, Vaseem Bashir here. Welcome back to my step-by-step -step online business setup series. Today, I'm going to show you how to get a professional email set up for your domain, and I will cover what options you have, how to connect your email to your website, and how to make sure everything runs smoothly. Let's get started. Okay, so the next thing is to get an email for your domain. So for example, it, for my agency, it's Vaseem at apexture.com. So apexture.com is the domain. And now, because we're now we're registering Conversive, conversive.com is the domain and I need to set up email. So the options I have is Google, Microsoft, and maybe of a cheaper version from Zoho. Let's compare them equally. Um, and starting with Microsoft, they charge about 5.88 pounds per month um, and it does not even include VAT so you have to add 20% on top and then comparing that to Google you have to pay five pounds a month and uh, that gives you 30 gigabytes of pool storage per user and uh, this one gives you one terabyte of cl cloud storage if you let's say are a small business and it's just you I would highly recommend Google because then you can use Google documents and other things it's very easy you can get access to all of these things which are listed here with Microsoft they're slightly expensive and you get access to these clunky tools which I don't like them at all but this is a personal preference um, if you prefer Microsoft then obviously uh, that's the way to go but if you're like me right now where we're still figuring out the business model and we, we don't want to spend a lot of money I would recommend Zoho Mail. So within Zoho Mail, you can obviously sign up and you get uh, five gigabytes per user, but there's a better way. There's a free forever plan and it gives you up to five users and five gigabytes per user, which is good enough because at the moment I just need an email which I can use to sign up for social media accounts and uh, you know set up my email server so that any email which comes from the website goes into this email and I can reply, reply back. So I would effectively not be using this email a lot, but I need something to begin with. So I'm going to start with sign up now. So I'm going to set up my e name here, email address. So funnily, it's asking me for an email address. So there's an account which already exists. Let's see, invoice at apexer.com. Okay, I have this email which I can use. So let me sign up using the password. Um, I don't want to sign up to any marketing communication, so sign up. Okay, so now it's going to send me an OTP. Let me check that very quickly. Okay, I've got the OTP now. Let's verify this. Okay, cool. So this is where you will set up your existing domain name. So that's the name of the brand and the industry is marketing and advertising. I'm gonna click add now. So it is saying we need to obviously proceed to domain verification. And this is where you would log in to DNS. So prove your domain ownership using your DNS. And this is what we set up in the last video. And uh, let's see if, yeah, because Cloudflare is universally kind of accepted as a DNS. All we need to do is click authorize and uh, it will automatically add that record within um, Cloudflare and set everything up. Otherwise, you have to do this manually, go into your Namecheap account and all that. So because I'm the super admin, I would use Vaseem at conversive.com as the main account. So I'm going to create that. Okay, perfect. So I've got this email address now, which is set up. Um, let's move on to the next step. I don't want to set up groups right now. I'm fine. So again, now we have to add all these MX, SP, SPF and DKIM records. This is where um, your email provider will become Zoho. So this is where you define all these records and tell your DNS where the email server is. And just by logging in into Cloudflare, it should show me all the records I need to add and it will automatically add them. So as you can see here, there's one, two, three, four, five, 
five MX records, sorry, three MX records, two text records, and they will be added automatically. Or oh, in fact, there's more. So as you can see, this could take a while if I didn't set up Cloudflare. I'll have to then easy, either manually copy them, paste them. It's a lot of exercise, so I'm just gonna click um, authorize and type in conversive.com to confirm. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, MX, SPF, and DKM records have been configured. Proceed to email migration. There's nothing to migrate because this is a new account. And uh, I can download like a Zoho mobile app as well, just to, yeah, um, check my email. The other thing is I can set up more users. So right now I've set up only basimaconversive.com. I can set up like an info uh, email. Okay, first name conversive designs or design this should be info and i'm gonna auto generate an email force user to blah 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 okay that's the ad cool so i have that set up so let's um, go back to the admin console do you want to continue the email setup later yeah i'm fine okay so this is the admin console area and I can see I've set up like one domain, which is conversive and uh, it's currently not updated fully. It usually takes about 24 hours um, for the records to show up properly. I wouldn't worry too much about it for now. I know we have added those and we can verify that. So if I go to my DNS records for conversive in Cloudflare and refresh, Um, I can see all these text records like TXT records, MX records, which have now been added. That's what we uh, wanted. So th these, these are already um, here, which means um, it's gonna take a while to obviously reflect. So if I now go to, um, let's, let's see if I can send an email and test whether I inf actually receive it. So let's go back to the home. So this is where I can start sending emails. So let's click on new email. Okay, I can skip this onboarding thing from, I'm gonna send it to myself and say, hello world, this is a new test email. Okay, dismiss this and I can click send. So this has been now sent. Let me log into my Apexure email just to confirm that this is showing up. It takes a while. Uh, maybe it won't work right now straight away. As I said, the MX records haven't been propagated enough um, or have been propagated everywhere because it takes a while to have them uh, propagated throughout the world. Um, I can see I haven't received the email yet on my um, in my email box for a picture. So I'm gonna keep it open just in case if I get it, I'll let you know. So in the meanwhile, that's, that's the first thing you can do now. You've set up your personal email, for example, and you can manage other accounts as well. And in case if the email still doesn't work, then I would recommend reaching out to Zoho and asking them to verify whether the MX records have been added properly, but usually give it 24 hours. And uh, there's a service called intodns.com. You can actually put in um, your domain name and verify those names have been added. Um, so here, the MX records, as you can see, there's like an icon here, like an information icon here. Maybe it hasn't properly reflected yet, but there are certain things which are added. So give it, give it some time, I would say. Okay, so I noticed I got the email. It took a while, but it actually ended up in my spam box. So I marked it as not spam. So make sure you check your spam. And then I replied back and said text successful. So in my Zoho now, I can see there's an email from me from Vasim at Apexia and it says test successful. So that kind of completes the test. So we did all the steps which were required to set up an email account. And that's it, your domain email is now ready to go. Remember, DNS changes can take some time to fully take effect, so please be patient if your emails don't arrive right away.
If this video helped, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next step in my business setup series. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.